Jiu-Jiu, right. how the devil are you, my friend? It's nice to I, see you there. I'm fine. Sorry, I, I, I just got out of bed about 10 minutes ago. Really? Well, yeah, because I, I had a whole bottle of rosé at lunchtime. Um, oh. We had endives with rock four, with walnuts, and then a little massive one of vegetables. It was just all vegetable uh, stuff, but the bottle of rosé did for me. And Well, I've, um, I'm, I'm going out for a, for a couple of tea time pints with uh, a, a couple of pals from round the doors. The, there's a nice chilled pint of Guinness down the road. The pub's not, not so salubrious, but the beer's great. I was going to ask you. Um, I yeah. read something somewhere about your, your 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 well. It's not an autobiography. Is it your biography or your book or what? What is it? A collection of thoughts or something? Ah, uh, well, I've been thinking because c- certain people um, have done their biographies uh, when they were in their twenties, footballers, and <laughs> others have done it in their thirties to coincide with the release of a record. Uh, yeah. I thought I'd wait a bit longer um, till I was. Um, you know, just around the bend before the final straight, and uh, and so theory. that I have something, I have something to tell. You know, Absolutely. I have a story to tell rather than promote the record. And yeah. uh, I, I th- I've thought about it for a few years. I'd write it, and then um, for some reason, a French journalist who's a big Stranglers fan, um, he asked uh, me if I'd be interested in having a series of uh, chats with him um, uh, in, you know, to, for a, a biography. And right. I said, I didn't want to, I, I said, I didn't want to do a chronological biography. Like I was born in London, 1952, <laughs> mum and dad were, you know, it's like, nah. So yeah. I thought what I've been telling journalists over the few last few years is um, they, you know, they sometimes ask you, um, what are your interests? And what? And I said, well, I, I've maintained the interest, the same interest that I developed when I was a teenager. The five M's: music, motorcycles, martial arts, marijuana, masturbation. And um, he picked up uh, who who can't claim the same things. Well, of course, of course. So of course. Uh, he, he picked up on that order. and said, look, I think I can. Uh, I can develop another five uh, M's, so there's about ten M's, and it's out in about two or three weeks. Um, and I, I, I know I've had I've picked up on a few Brits have said, um, well, "Why isn't it in English?" Because well, the answer is no one asked me to do it in English, and I didn't actively pursue a publisher to do it in English, and a French publisher has. So that's where we're at. So it's all in French. Fair enough. Uh... Well, I mean, that's not the only book, though, is it? I mean, there's a, hopefully we'll have this um, fan stories one as well. Well, yeah, um, I, I think that's a really interesting concept because uh, there's an awful lot of people who've grown older with us and uh, who uh, sometimes they've quit the bus en route, but a lot of people have actually stayed on the bus for the whole journey. And I yeah. think they've got some amazing stories to tell, to be honest. They've... Uh, uh, it's a history of theirs as well. And uh, yeah. I think some people have said that, you know, I mean, we've been an active musical entity for over 40 years, five years. So that that is a, uh, a soundtrack to an awful lot of people's lives. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, the more the merrier, really. I, I mean, I think, I think we're going to uh, hopefully look through some of them and pick our favourites and stuff. But well, we would just want people to... Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Keep I'd writing. I'd love in. to hear. I, I mean, I'd love for more people to uh, offer up their memories of Strangler-related concerts and their lives in, in that yeah. context. No, I mean, apparently we've got we've got absolutely shed loads, but we could always do with more. We just want more and more and more, so we can pick the absolute best ones. You know, girls, um, boys, men, women. If you've been to the Stranglers in the last hundred years. Write your stories and send them in to us. <laughs> Censorship, not necessary. You don't need to censor them. I'm sure there's a quite a few things that uh, you would uh, rather people didn't know, but then there's a few things people do want to know as well. It's all fantastic stuff. And I do believe that somewhere on the line, this is highly unorthodox because, I mean, this is generally just you and me who do this, but apparently you're a drummer and keyboard player are somewhere as well. Toby and Jim, are you receiving us? 
Toby, Jim, are you there? Hello. Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hello. How's our Gingo look, uh, uh, Harry look alike? Marvellous. Thank you, gentlemen. How are you? This is all. Shouldn't say things like that. It's the Jubilee week, anyway. This is all top stuff. This stuff in our caps all week. I well, I happen to say just just for the record, I would like to say before we go any further, talking about the Jubilee week, I've got a lot of time for the Queen. I've always well, liked... I think everyone does. Everyone yeah, I've does. always loved the, I've always loved the Queen. I've met Prince Charles. In actual fact, he was all right. It's a long time ago, though. Um, the others I can well do without, to be perfectly honest. But the Queen, the Queen's all right in my book, chaps. Okay, well, we've got one royal, a confirmed royalist in the band. Well, um, kind of, kind of. A semi-royalist, anyway. Is Toby there? Yeah, I'm here. Can you hear me? There ah, he is. Pinky. Pinky. Well, I'm, I'm, pinky. I'm a bit pinky. I'm a bit pinky today. Pinky, yeah, yeah pinky. You're pinky. Um, you, so you made it, um, they, they picked you up from the briny, did they? Pinky. <laughs> Rather. You do look like a Spitfire pilot, Toby. I do. Yeah. I should have my cravat on, shouldn't I? Yeah. <laughs> now I've um I've been I've been tasked um with um ask I've got a piece of paper here in front of me. This is where it gets a bit interview. Like, what memory springs to mind of the band before you joined them? What what memory of the band springs to mind before you joined the band? Just book it now. I feel like Michael book a last Michael Ask. Like you're, you're good at this band. I think you've got you've got. A career outside of the Stranglers, is a well, know. yeah, there's well, quite a few, but that one, that especially one. when you get the new teeth as well. <laughs> I'm going to do my politician answer and answer the question I was hoping you were going to ask me. Um, Come on, then. Is, I was thinking about this. Um, not that I had this question in advance, but um, there are a few. But the one I was going to say is the first time. It's got to be the first time I actually met JJ. Um, Dave and Jet, uh, and it was 1992. You won't remember this, JJ, but it was at Jacob's studio. I think you were doing In the Night. You must have been doing In, yes. in, in the Night. Yes. And a mate of mine knew someone at the studio, and, and I knew you were there. So I came down, and um, and I've got a photo, a great photo with you, and, and I had a really good chat with you, um, and, but particularly Jet, who very proudly was telling me about his tomatoes, these prized tomatoes <laughs> he was growing. <laughs> And that, that's, <laughs> that's always stayed with me. You know, Jet made <laughs> yeah. some of the best ketchup. Yeah, he was so He's... proud of his tomato. And I think he'd had a really good crop or something that year. And um, he just wanted to <laughs> boast about his tomatoes. <laughs> Here was me, you know, with all my singles to get you guys to sign, which you were very, you know, I'm very grateful that you gave me your time with this spotty little young oik of a Toby who was, God, I must have been, I don't know, still in my teens. I was 19 or Blimey. something. Blimey. Blimey. Pinky Houndsham. Pinky Houndsham. Speaking yeah, of Jet, sorry. I spoke to him a couple of weeks ago. When was the last time you spoke to him, Jet? Uh, me, about uh, five, six weeks ago. I said, oh, yeah, but he always sounds great. He always sounds chipper. And yeah, healthy. and then, th then does he say, yeah, but I'm still alive. <laughs> fuckers, David Bowie, George, Michael, Lemmy, they're all gone and I'm still here. <laughs> 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 What about Jim then? We've got to ask Jim the same thing. James? Yes. <laughs> what was the question? Anything, in anything interesting to say, or are you just going to stand there and look extremely royal? Look how royal you look. <laughs> well, one can't help that, you know. No, um, I, do that. <laughs> I can't remember when I first met. Yeah, I was probably doing. I was probably playing for Mike Marley, um, doing the yeah. doing the support tour. Um, I mean, obviously. I'm a sort of not quite as old as uh, Tobes. Sorry, Tobes. Thanks, uh, no. But I wasn't massively yeah, but you familiar look at, with you before. Since, <laughs> since you joined the Strangers and started, you've aged considerably by about 30 years. <laughs> yeah, I say. Yes. Jim, how long have you been? Well, you've been in the band for 10 years now, though, haven't you? I mean, fuck, man, that's a long time. It is a long time. 10 of my best years. <laughs> well, I would certainly say so. I would certainly say so. And of course, we taught each other many things. Um, you know, we were all good drinkers to start with. But you, my friend, you can carry. I was going to say you can carry the can, but yeah. <laughs> you, I was going to say you carry the can, but you carry several cans, don't you? Many times a day. Yes, absolutely. Yes. Well, it doesn't do to leave home without one. Well, I remember your first gig. Um, 
it was, I remember that very vividly. That was a terrible business. We were in the Baltic States somewhere, weren't we? Where were we? Estonia. Yes, yes, yes. Estonia. You played, and I, you played like a god. I thought you played really well. No, it all went really well, apart from um, we. I'd got about two thirds of the way through the set in front of quite a lot of people, and then we started playing Duchess. And I write on my set list how each song starts. As you know, you see me do that every day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, the reason I do that now is because I didn't used to do it. And we got to Duchess, and I forgot how it started. And JJ counts it in when we play it live. And uh, I couldn't remember what to play. So I played the wrong thing four times in a row in front of, <laughs> I don't know, 20,000 people. That's what you've got to do. If you fuck yeah. it up once, repeat the fuck up. <laughs> well, and then so people, people think it's part of one. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, we could still be there now. We're like, and I remember coming off stage, walking to the back, sitting away from you guys and thinking, well, that was fun. I'll never see them again. <laughs> 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 but at least I'm in Estonia and I have a nice drink and uh, see what the country's got to offer and then that was a good adventure and then here I we are ten years later well speaking of gigs um, we're doing some Can any is anybody chomping at the bit to play as much as I am I'm just I yeah. cannot fucking I cannot wait to fucking see you all next week and have a, have a bash um, well, the thing is, we're going to rehearse, and I think that's going to hold us in good stead for the whole, uh, the rest of the year, because we're going to rehearse over two hours of material, and most of the sets that we're being asked to play will be much less than that, an hour, an hour and a quarter, an yeah. hour and a half, if we're lucky, at Rebellion, uh, but uh, in fact, yeah. we can ignore it. everyone just play as much as we want, really. <laughs> like <laughs> but, we normally do. <laughs> but yeah, we'll be, we'll be tight. Uh, and I've actually had conversations in the past with uh, bands of our generation saying, why do you rehearse so much? It's because we are the tightest band on the motherfucking planet. And uh, the strangers music needs to be tight because of the arrangements. Uh, they're quite complicated, some of the arrangements yeah. and the cues. So, yeah, yeah I'm looking forward to seeing pl uh, playing with you, you guys next week. Be fucking fantastic. I mean, I'm, I'm, there's, there's so many, so many. I mean, there's Toby, you'll be looking forward to Le Mans, I would have thought. You know, yeah, I was going to say uh, that, uh, Baz. I mean, I'm, obviously, I'm looking forward to them all, but that being a petrol head, I'm, uh, I'm quite excited. Because, you know, when we're, we've had, uh, we've had something like two months off now, and um, as the rehearsals start to approach, you start looking through your diary as to as to where you're going and what you're doing and things that are coming in. And it's a quite next year is going to be quite exciting as well with um with this the Olympia, which I know is somewhere that you haven't played before. Um we've done it twice and it is something to behold playing in there. It's not it's not yeah. it's not only the venue, um, it's the it's the history that's attached to it. It's steeped in history and there's a vibe there that you just don't get anywhere else. And we've had some I mean, we did a television, we did a TV special. We did a television special in there um, a few years ago, and it's just wonderful. And there's some more French kids going to be dotted around. <laughs> Not that I'm into football, but I'd imagine you're quite a happy chap, aren't you, Baz? Uh, yes, I had, a, I, had a, I had a... I had quite... Uh, no, because, of course, you're into rugger and darts, aren't you? Proper, proper sports. Proper, yeah, darts, proper sports. <laughs> uh, you know my campaign to get darts into the Olympics. Yeah, but that's well, I um, I had I had a, a very emotional afternoon. I don't mind saying because I, all I kept thinking about was me old dad. But they actually did play really well and they thoroughly deserved it. So it's good. Oh yes, thank you, Toby. Thank you for mentioning that. Because, I'll raise uh, a glass to your team and to. Oh, uh, you yeah. there you go. Hey, listen. Uh, well, in that case, I'm going to say. If everybody else is drinking, What's he I've done my drinking for the day. <laughs> <laughs> well, well done, well done but now. Well done. Well done. <laughs> done your drinking for the day by half past three. At lunchtime, you have a bottle of rosé. I'm surrounded by rosé. I'm in the capital of rosé, mate. We live a very different pace of life, you and I. <laughs> You're very good health, my friend. It's a small, it's a small brand. Yeah, yeah. Bottoms yeah. up. Yeah. Chin chin. Hmm. Oh, lovely. Nice to see you all. Take very good yeah. care. Yeah. See, see you next week. See you next week, you bunch of rotters. Lots of love. We're not here.
Take care, guys. Bye. <laughs>